In other Senate-related news, this time from Jamaica, a firestorm brewed in the Senate on Friday, leaving one senator suspended. Opposition Senator Marlene Malahu Ford faced the wrath of Senate President Floyd Morris after she failed to provide a letter to substantiate her claim that the UK-based Privy Council had expressed an interest in travelling to Jamaica to hear cases. Our reporter Tanika Thomas was in Senate and filed this report. Opposition Senator Marlene Malahu Ford found herself on the wrong side of Senate President Floyd Morris during Friday's sitting of the Senate. Mrs. Malahu Ford was severely reprimanded after she was unable to provide the Senate President with a letter to support her claims that the UK Privy Council had expressed an interest in traveling to Jamaica to hear cases. The opposition senator made the comments during her contribution on the three bills being debated to replace the UK Privy Council with the Caribbean Court of Justice CCJ on Thursday. Mrs. Malahu Ford had indicated that she would have furnished the letter. However, as the day's proceeding dragged on, the document was a no-show. Leader of government business in the Senate, A.J. Nicholson, would alert the Senate president when he saw an orderly removing Mrs. Malahu Ford's handbag. When I spoke to you, a member took the, the, the bag of, the, of, of, of Senator Malahu Ford to her. Took it to her. At that time, it became obvious that the senator was not in the chamber. Senate President Floyd Morris would intervene, asking the marshal to summon the opposition senator. Opposition Senator Dr. Christopher Tufton raised objections to the way the situation was being handled. He said it was being implied that Mrs. Malo Fort was hiding. I'm just concerned uh, that the approach to the retrieval of the individual um, doesn't send the signal that no. this person is in some way shape or form trying to dodge a commitment that the no. individual has. No. Let me, let, can, I, can I can oh, I be allowed oh, oh, to finish? No, no, can Senator. Can I be allowed to finish, um, oh, Mr. President? Oh, hold um, on. This, this, with, with hold on. With hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Members. 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 Senate, Senator Tufton, I don't even want you to go there because I mean I sent the I explained what transpired and there is nothing wrong with that. The marshal would later return without Mrs. Mallow Ford, only an assurance that the letter would be delivered. Mr. Morris would not accept and describe her actions as contemptuous. I'm not going to be accepting that from the member. I believe it is disrespectful. I believe it is contemptuous. And especially, and especially in light of an individual, a member who has given service in the justice system. He then moved that the opposition senator be suspended. I move that Senator Malawu Ford be suspended from the service of the Senate and as the President has said, until the letter demanded of her is produced. However, before senators could vote on the motion, Mrs. Malawu Ford walked in, but she wasn't given a chance to explain. Those in favor? Okay. Those against? The eyes of it. Opposition senators were livid. The question is that the Senate be adjourned for a date to be fixed. Those in may favor? I, may, I, may I inquire no. the basis on which Senator Malahu Court has been suspended without the possibility of her putting her explanation before the court the before question the Senate? Is, the question is so that you have the Senate a, you have be adjourned. Suspended her Those in without favor? an explanation. Those against? And the denied the and the in her Senate absence. You have adjourned. suspended her in her absence and without an explanation. And you call this you call this natural justice. Tanika Thomas reporting for Scene Caribbean News. Meanwhile, opposition Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith says she's still trying to understand why there was a motion 
to suspend her colleague. She explained that the senator was absent at the time of question because she was having lunch. Mrs. Johnson Smith says she's outraged by the action. She was downstairs. She had sent for her bag, as any lady might do, as we keep things in there that are unrelated to the Senate. Mm -hmm. It's a personal handbag, mm -hmm. not a briefcase. And uh, the marshal requested that the usher carry it to her. Mm -hmm. And Senator Nicholson asked, mandated, ordered, and Senator Golding ordered that he put it down, mm -hmm. putting the, gent the young man in an uncomfortable situation. So I took it down to her. And she was in the restroom, but I left it there because they were, Tom, she was having lunch with Senator Finson and Senator Montague. And um, I came back upstairs. And that's it. And the opposition senator in question maintains that she can produce the letter. She believes the action taken against her was unwarranted. I needed my bag to get a feminine product from the bag. I wasn't leaving. I gathered. They all went in a frenzy. The marshal indicated to me that the president, the business of the Senate had been completed and they were about to adjourn, but they were awaiting the letter. I said, since I had to go to the restroom, the Senate need not await my return since nothing is there to be done. I gave my undertaking to present the letter and I will do so. No more, no less. By the time I was walking in, a vote was about to be taken. I would have thought that since I had arrived, just at that point, the president would have suspended what he was doing to say, let me hear the explanation. I didn't say I wasn't giving the letter, but I don't understand. So if we're here talking about justice, eh, and this is the, their idea of justice, God help all Jamaicans. Journalists sought a response from government senators on the matter, but they were reluctant. Mrs. Malahu Fort has been suspended until she provides the Senate president with the letter.